Well, I'm going to do a retest of the uh, Entropy Piano Tuner software. Um, I've done a few things different this time to make it all an optimal recording of all the notes. Um, I, I did a few things. First of all, I put a rug underneath the piano to prevent it from reverberating against the uh, tile. I made sure all the background noise was turned off. It's pretty quiet in here compared to usual. I moved everything off of the top of the piano before I had stuff sitting up here like the laptop which I was using before. I'm not using the laptop. The laptop was Linux and now I'm using a uh, different computer. A uh, desktop with Windows 10 on it. And I got a better microphone. I got a Blue Ice so it's a semi-professional microphone, cost about 130 bucks, <clears throat> and it records in uh, the direction of the piano rather than recording all around. You can set it for different um, front and back, just front or all around. It's pretty good. Well, the piano's already tuned. I tuned it with a different program, so it should be close to being in tune. And I also voiced the hammers some, so. Everything should be ready to record. I'm recording the notes. It's going pretty well. Uh, got the bottom ones done. The lowest day, the quality wasn't that good, um, according to this rating. But uh, the rest of them are medium, and some of them are really high. All right, I'm going to try the uh, C sharp now. See what happens. Uh, it takes a while for uh, to record everything, give it a good long um, playing time, and it gives me a good quality rating, so I figure I'm good. Quality. I guess it takes that long for each note. All right. I will uh, finish recording all the notes and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm now up to um, middle C. Um, seems to be recording the notes a little faster. Um, I forgot to mention my microphone has a gain setting, so it's just set just above halfway, so I won't get any problems with clipping. Um, so I think we're good. Let me try. Middle C here. The quality's good. You can see uh, it's a pretty even uh, curve here. Except I'm not concerned about this one sticking up more than the others. I forgot to move the mute. Try that again. Okay. Okay, I'm in the higher treble now. Um, I've noticed that a few of the notes it gives you a low quality setting, um, a recording. Uh, but if you hit it again, it'll have to be a little more quality. One, one, uh, one of them I hit three times and it went all the way up to the top. So let's try that.
Yeah, all the way to the top, and it was at the bottom before. So some of them you have to hit twice to get a good recording. Well, I set the gain a little higher, but now the uh, refrigerator over there turned on. So I have to wait for that to get done so I can start recording again. I'm getting a pretty good curve here. I'm a little higher now. The uh, recordings are recording a little faster for each note. The quality isn't going much above uh, two-thirds here. Uh, I've hit it multiple times on the same note, and it never goes any higher than that. So, just have to deal with it. Okay, I've got all the notes recorded. Um, and I saved it, so now we can go on to calculate the curve. This is my uh, recording curve. Looks pretty good, except jumps up here. That one there. <coughs> And the very top, uh, not that good. I'll see. But anyway, I'll go and calculate and see what happens. Yes, save it. Okay, let's start the calculation. Okay, it's done calculating. Doesn't look too bad. But we got this weird jump here and this weird jump here. Couldn't be smoother. I think if this was all smooth, a smooth curve, it might be better. Okay, I re-recorded it. I moved the uh, microphone under the piano and set it to omnidirectional omnidirectional instead of one direction and I seem to record a little better a little faster um, and the curve is pretty good except at the top again at the top it wouldn't give me a quality rating but it was clearly recording it and getting results so that might just be a bug in the uh, system or a feature all right, uh, I'm going to save this. I'll move to calculate and it'll tell me to save. Yes. So now I can start the calculation. Well, this curve looks a little smoother than the previous one. It still jumps all over down on the base. So I'm not convinced. <laughs> but I read the uh, manual and it says to use a boom mic over the piano. So here I'm putting the mic right there. I don't have a boom, but uh, that's the best I can do. <laughs> I'm using a chair and a metrics box for the stand here. So I'm going to record a third file of the piano. The only problem is we have two refrigerators in this kitchen and they keep turning on so I have to stop recording whenever that happens. <laughs> All right, this is the calculated curve for the uh, third recording I did with the boom mic. And I have the uh, Casio hooked up to the MIDI, and it's supposed to play um, <coughs> notes <coughs> as they're going to sound. Can 
check it to see if it sounds okay. I had problems before the uh, low octaves were not in tune at all. They sound a little better. Alright, I will go ahead and use this file to tune my piano. And see what happens. Now here's the result of the recording I did from the uh, boom microphone just over the piano and that's the one I used to tune it. This is how it recorded what uh, the piano sounded like and this is the calculation that it came up with. And then uh, I checked it afterwards, about a week later, and this is where the tuning ended up. Um, some of these are a little off because it's a week after I tuned it, um, and plus it's hard to get things exactly right. As long as it's in the green, they're pretty good. As long as you get all three strings within one or two cents of each other, uh, it's going to sound okay. But we're still not out of the water yet. But, uh, the uh, other recordings that I took are giving me a little different results. This is the recording I took from uh, the microphone sitting on the table. And that's the results it got from recording the strings. And here's the calculation. It's uh, a little bit different. Uh, it got really flat in the bass here. And some of them are even off the chart down here. And uh, after measuring um, against the tune that I used against this one, the uh, notes are quite a bit different than it recommends according to this tuning file. And here's the results of the other tuning file that I made with the microphone underneath the piano. And they're up and down all over here. So that would have been a different sounding tuning. Mostly throughout the rest of it it's good, but in the bass is where you're going to be off. So the bottom two or three octaves, uh, depending on the recording, how good it is, where you put the microphone, it's going to make a difference on how good it sounds. And you might have to, after you're done tuning, you might have to tune a few by ear. But uh, for the most part, I have to say that uh, Entropy will work if you have a de decent microphone and you make a decent recording. Hopefully. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not uh, as good as TuneLab, but it is free and it's a very interesting program and has a lot of good features. So read the manual. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in there. Plus it helps. Uh, you can listen to, when you're tuning, you can listen to the earphones and it gives you the tone. So all you have to do is match up the string to the tone that it gives you. So it's easy, a lot easier to tone it, uh, to tune it that way than just uh, by, by sight. Well, you can use sight and the earphones and that helps a lot. Uh, also, it has that feature where you can test it before you tune it on your MIDI device, your MIDI keyboard to see if it sounds okay. Alright, I have to uh, give Entropy a thumbs up this time.